Um, Chuck Trasper. Uh, me and my wife Carla are in Power Body Fitness. Uh, we've been at this, I've been at it a little over 30 years. My Hello wife. everyone, my name is Carla Trosper, Johnson originally. Um, owner of Power Body Fitness. What's your background in weightlifting? Were you involved in powerlifting or what's your experience there? Well, I started out interested in bodybuilding. Okay. Uh, me and my wife used to go to bodybuilding competitions. Oh, okay. So we would watch those, but we had we had friends that did it, but we had no desire ourselves to to do that as far as a competition. Uh, fortunately, we went to, we went to a powerlifting meet, and uh, my wife saw that, and she's like, "Oh, so you lift the most, you win. It's not a matter of opinion." <laughs> and she said, "I can do that." <laughs> so we uh, we gave powerlifting a shot. And a few years later, she had six national titles wow. and a world title. Wow, pretty impressive. Yeah, so it's, I, been, it's been a fun ride. Powerlifting gave me the opportunity to um, increase my own positiveness about myself. Mm -hmm. The outlook on my life, it helped me do things that I just didn't even think that it would help me accomplish day-to-day -day activities, working with my children, working with other people. Right. Awesome. Hey, I've had a chance, Chuck, to talk to some of your uh, students, some of, the, some of the athletes that you're training and some of their dads and get some experience on that. Could you just briefly tell us why you feel like the niche out there for, for your gym, one of the niches, is these young athletes? Well, the, the problem is most of the other gyms won't even work with the kids at this age. <clears throat> and if they do, uh, they mostly just do speed and agility work with them, which they get when they're doing wrestling practice, football practice, they work on those things in practice. Mm -hmm. But what we help them with, nobody else is really doing, and that's their basic strength, their basic core strength, and foundation building. Okay. And what would you say um, the real difference that that brings to a young athlete compared to those not doing it? Well. First of all, every sport they do, a stronger athlete is a better athlete. Mm -hmm. It helps with their injury, injury prevention, it helps with their self-confidence. Talk about that, because to me I think that's the real difference. Well, the, the kids come in, every boy wants to be strong. Mm -hmm. And as they see themselves get stronger and they can handle more weight and their form gets better, you can just see their confidence build, you can see the attitudes of the kids change. Do. Carla, tell me just briefly, in your opinion, what makes your guys' gym different than, say, commercial gyms that are all over O'Fallon? Why should someone come here to work out? Our gym is most definitely more like a training school situation. It's not your big crowded situation where you just have people come in for the numbers, for the money aspect. We're more geared to the training and knowledge. Suppose one of us isn't here anymore. Most of our clients have been trained to where if, if we're not here, they know what movements they need to do, the name of the exercises. Um, proper technique. Proper technique. Those are usually uh, really manipulated in the mind. They're forgotten sometimes, but for the most part, they're with us all the time, so it's it's just engineered into their mindset as far as the technique part, and it carries throughout their lifestyle. Not only with the little kids, the youngsters that are in sports and things like that, which the training helps with their agility, their posture. It takes th that same steps with the older generation. People who have not taken care of themselves at all in this aspect. People who have had, um, say like osteoporosis. I have this one little lady who started with me when she was 65. Wow. She couldn't even put her purse on her shoulder. Mm. She came to me dragging her purse on the floor. Mm. She had lost three inches in height, so she was all bent over. Right. She couldn't lift her arm up. Um, she worked with me for, of course, some years, and on Channel 11, we did a 500 leg press with her. Wow. 
That's incredible. For 10 repetitions. Oh my gosh. When this lady, when she first came in, I had to pick her up, literally, pick her up, put her to one exercise machine to the next, because it took her so long to get up hmm. and to actually physically walk to each machine. Wow. I would pick her up. To this day, she's still with me. It's been uh, 13, 14 years she's been with me. Wow. Oh yeah, that's there's still the old wives tale out there mm -hmm. about it's going to stunt their growth or you know, uh, it's bad for them. But if you do it properly supervised, you know, they're not coming in and maxing out. Right. They're learning proper form. We're working with medium to high reps. Uh, so it's, you know, supervised and controlled. They're not in here horse playing and playing around. Right. You get them in schools by themselves without a coach's supervision. Boys of this age, they're going to get into horse play. Right. They're liable to get hurt. Sure. We want to teach them that, you know, this is something you take serious. You right. Don't, you don't come in here to play around. You're here just like football practice. Here to work. Just like wrestling practice, you're here to work. That's right. You're here to become a better athlete. Well, I can tell you, Chuck, the boys are excited about what you guys are doing for them. I'm glad we had a chance to interview you and talk a little bit about what makes your gym different. And uh, good luck with the rest of your training. All right, thank you.